everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am so happy to bring you review and swatches of Jeffree Star's Jawbreaker Palette and the Brain Freeze Highlighter Palette. Um, now I knew right away when I saw these announced that I had to have them. The colors really drew me in and the packaging, I mean, come on, the packaging is excellent. Now you can purchase these items either on JeffreeStarCosmetics.com or on Beautylish, which is how I purchased it. I just, I have a lot of trouble with Jeffree Star's um, shipping. So uh, I decided to go Beautylish this time and I had no issues whatsoever. So this palette right here runs for $58. The Brain Freeze palette runs for $40. And if I'm not mistaken, the mini breaker runs for $28. Now I did buy these as a bundle, so I did save a little bit of money. This runs for $75. Um, now I'm only reviewing these two today because this is gonna be in today's giveaway, but we will come to that a little bit later. So let's start with the Jawbreaker palette. Ah, oh, I love this collection. Um, as far as Jawbreaker candies, you know, I'm not really big on that, but the Jawbreaker movie, like that was my jam <laughs> i love that movie uh so this is the outer packaging for the jawbreaker palette really really cute of course it represents the actual jawbreaker candy uh on the back you have the full list of ingredients and of course jeffree star is a cruelty free brand hey guys so this is my future self i got so excited to get to the highlighter palette that i forgot to tell you Jeffree Star Cosmetics is vegan as well, so they use certain dyes that may or may not stain your lid. I just want to let you know I did have a couple issues with staining, mostly with the pinks, not really with the red, but these are just my fingers after the swatches. I have scrubbed them and it is not coming off, so I just wanted you to be aware. Um, I had a little bit of trouble with the purple, but just not as much as the pink, but I just wanted you guys to know, so yeah. Now, even though the outer packaging is white, the eyeshadow palette itself is pink, which I think is still super cute. Jeffree Star loves pink, so it definitely represents him very well. So you open it up, and these are all your shades right here. Oh my goodness, aren't they so pretty? Love it. Just full of color. And of course, you get a nice full-size mirror. All right, so for the highlighter palette, this is what the outer packaging looks like. Very holographic, and I love that. If you can actually see on here, it looks like the letters are frosted over. Really nice detail on that. Um, on the back, it says, take your glow everywhere, blind the world, six shades, vegan, cruelty-free. When applied, glow can be seen from outer space, which I do have the highlight on today, and whew, makes a girl happy. <laughs> Okay, so this is what the actual packaging of the palette looks like. So here's a closer look at the packaging. Just super, super cute. Once again, it looks like the letters have been frozen over. And then, ah, look at these. They are so pretty. Now, when I got this, I knew right away I was not gonna be able to use every single shade as a highlight. I knew that going into it, obviously, uh, Statuesque was gonna be way too dark for me, but, but I do intend to use that on the eye, so I will get used out of it. Uh, for me, this was just a better deal um, versus one highlighter, but we're gonna get into all that a little bit later. So, what I'm gonna do right now, because I have so much to swatch, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do that really fast, so where I'm gonna swatch these first and I'm gonna go into the highlighters and then we will get into thoughts.
so all those swatches are so gorgeous the colors in here are really really fun um, now what I actually have on my eyes today I have cone Wow suck licorice and lemon drop on my eyes for my highlight I did use the gold breaker uh, highlight so look at that oh so pretty okay so let's go over the shades in here really fast um, I know if you guys watch me on Instagram I did make an announcement that I was having a a hard time with one of the shades and it was really really frustrating um, that was actually the shade gumdrop this purple shade right here um, I'm gonna go ahead and insert a picture kind of what it was looking like uh, it was just it was patchy it just kind of blended away and disappeared the more I blended it out uh, it didn't really mesh well when I tried to pair it with the the shimmer shade it just was acting really funky and it just broke my heart because the swatches perfectly I don't know if it was the brush that I was using I don't know if it was the primer that I used. I did use a different primer on this eye look versus that eye look um, it just it was very very hard to work with I don't know if I changed it use a different primer different brush if it would have been easier did I eventually get it to work yes but it literally took me two hours to do a halo eye because of that shade and that's not <laughs> uh, it doesn't usually take me that long to do makeup um, so that shade for me is kind of it's pretty but I think it could be better I've heard that pastels are really really hard to uh, create um, I've seen a lot of palettes come out that were pastel palettes and they didn't really pass the test of a lot of influencers um, so when I saw that there were kind of pastel shades in here I was really excited because I know if anybody can do it it's definitely Jeffree Star um, I didn't have any issues with this one or even the baby blue um, or this color right here which I'm not gonna say its name does that take away from the palette? I don't think so because there's still plenty of other shades in here that I can work with. Um, I will say I almost kind of got lost in the palette just because of the fact that I'm not a makeup artist by any means. I'm just an enthusiast and I love color but for me it was a little overwhelming just to kind of look at the palette and see okay how can I create a look? There's just so many colors I didn't know which way to go does that make sense so I don't think that is this is a beginner friendly unless you are desperately wanting colors uh, if, if you really 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 want the colors then obviously get it it's a great palette um, I just don't think it's beginner friendly because I it did take me a minute to sit there and kind of even pick a color to start because there was just so many choices I still think you can get some wearable looks out of here nothing outrageous I think the um, the eye look I have on today is very beautiful it's definitely something I would wear out of the house the halo eye that I did um, I think it's really really pretty like I said it took me two hours to do because I kept having to pack on that shadow um, and just go over and over and over it again and it was just ugh okay <laughs> but that's very very wearable so you can create crazy outrageous colorful looks and a little bit more toned down so I absolutely love this palette I think it's beautiful I'm excited to add this to my Jeffree collection which I've kind of started I have three of his palettes now oh that makes me so happy now let's get into the highlighter palette I have to say okay the only other highlighter that I own of Jeffree Star uh, is like the blue highlighter and I had gotten that out of a mystery box would I have chosen a blue highlighter for myself probably not um, I did test it on my cheek even with the lightest hand it doesn't really work can I use it for inner corner and eyelid of course but I really wanted to try one of his highlighters um, on my cheek and just see how I feel about them and let me just say oh my gosh <laughs> I am in love like look at this oh, so pretty I could do this all day <laughs> just la, looking at the glow looking at the glow um, but when I got this palette I like I said I knew there were gonna be colors that I'm not gonna be able to use obviously um, statuesque is too dark as a highlight for me and that is perfectly fine I can use it as a lid shade but this palette actually surprised me because the shades in here I love even more than I thought I would um, now cold shoulder cold shoulder is really really pretty 
Uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to use um, cocky, but I did and it works really, really well for my skin tone. Um, so I was really happy about that. Frozen Fruit is an absolutely gorgeous pink and then Freeze Tag, it is not a crazy blue. So I'm still able to use it on my cheek and I really, really like that. I think it'd be a really pretty inner corner highlight uh, for any kind of blue look. I think it would be perfect. Let me talk about the star of the show, and that's gonna be this Gold Breaker shade right here, which is actually the one that I have on my cheek. <sighs> I want this as a single. I swear I would buy so many of them. This shade is stunning, and I mean stunning. It melted on the skin. It is just beautiful. I, I, can't, I can't even come up with words to describe how good it is. It is so beautiful. I have all kinds of bumps on my face right now uh, because I have shaved my face and I've only just started doing that. This is like the second time. So my skin's kind of like purging and I got these little bumps all over the face, all over my face. Um, and it does not, it does not accentuate any texture whatsoever. It doesn't show my dryness. It is just <sighs> beautiful. <laughs> It is just beautiful. The other highlights, I mean, they're gorgeous as well. But this one, this one stole my heart. And Jeffree Star, I don't think you'll ever watch my video, but I want a single. <laughs> if you are interested in that highlight palette, I highly recommend it. Let me just say that right now. I love the eyeshadow palette. I think that one's going to be definitely a personal preference. Do you like colors? Do you really want to play in that much color? That's going to be a decision that you guys have to make. I'm going to enjoy the palette. But that highlighter palette, I can tell you that everybody is going to enjoy that palette. It is stunning. Get it. You want it? Get it. <laughs> All right. And of course, you guys saw that I got the mini breaker palette. Now, I'm not going to swatch this, of course, because it is for my giveaway. But I am going to open it up for you guys and show you what it looks like. So this is the packaging right here. You open it up and these are your shades right here. Very, very pretty. Of course, there's two repeat shades here um, from the actual Jawbreaker palette. So I didn't feel the need to get both for myself. That is why I chose to go ahead and give you guys this palette. So I will have all the rules listed down below. Of course, you must be subscribed to my channel. This time around, this is going to be open for any age. If you are under 18, yes, you must have parents permission um, because I will be mailing it to you. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment down below and let me know if this is going to be your very first Jeffree Star palette or if you already have a Jeffree Star palette, let me know what palette you got. So the giveaway starts today and it ends July 18th at 11.59 Eastern Standard Time. Don't forget to enter the giveaway through Gleam, which is the website. And you guys, this website will pick the winner. I do not pick the winner on my own. So please do not ask me to pick you. I like to keep my giveaways really fair. So the website is going to pick the winner for me. Now it will check all of the qualifications. So if you enter and you're not subscribed, it is not going to count your entry. So make sure you guys are following all the rules that I have listed down below for you guys. So that is it for this video. I hope you found it helpful and I will see you guys on Friday. Bye.